There was a new push on Capitol Hill this morning in response to the Supreme Court ruling that really dealt a blow to the president's contraceptives provision in the Affordable Care Act. Yeah, it did. And Brian Carter is live on Capitol Hill with today's push for the so-called Not My Boss's Business Act. Brian. Well, good morning to you, Candace and Autria. It seems that we are always talking health care here on Capitol Hill, and that will be the topic again today. It is expected to be a big day in the Senate as they take up this vote on a bill that many have now dubbed, as you mentioned, Not My Boss's Business Act. Now, we do understand that according to under this bill, it would ensure that women would still be able to get free contraceptive coverage, even if their employer says that it goes against their religious beliefs. Now, of course, this comes on the heels of that big decision back in in June in the Hobby Lobby case, where the Supreme Court ruled that companies don't have to provide coverage for contraceptives if their faith prohibits it. Now, this is a Democratic backed bill, and we do understand that some Democrats saying that this is a women's rights issue, one they will continue to push. Republicans, though, firing back, saying that this is a political stunt leading up to the elections in November. Now, at this point, it doesn't seem that the bill will have enough votes to pass there in the Senate. We do expect that there will be a press conference ahead of that vote here on Capitol Hill later today. We'll continue to follow it throughout the day. For now, reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.